Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and occasionally I hear from you guys, uh, you know, help, help, I need to see the value in the system, help, help, I need to invest. And so uh, I want to talk a little bit about some value plays or a value play that I see in the market and talk a little bit about why I think it's a value play and exactly what it is. Of course, as always, when I get these questions about what's valuable, what's kind of a good quote unquote investment, even though collecting is not an investment, uh, is that invariably it comes in the form of things that people don't want to collect. That's why they're a value, right? So most of the people who watch the channel are they, you know, they're like, let's get MS65, you know, you know, certain coins and check out the pop reports and all this stuff. And, and where do you find value? Well, value to me oftentimes is just in my gut, right? So, and I'm not, I'm not selling any type of uh, vitamins or medicine here, but uh, just something that you see in the marketplace and you think, you know what, that seems like a good price point compared to what people spend their money on. And so what I have today is these banknotes that are actually known as uh, Federal Reserve National Banknotes, right? So this is a, like a combination of two different things because they're actually, they're both Federal Reserve notes and national currency that were kind of combined into one thing. So FR, uh, FR, BNR, FRs, it's like the Fernbers. So that's not actually what people call them. I'm just messing around with y'all. But these guys here uh, have really low mintages once you get into the higher denominations. So the 50 and the $100 bills, I think, are kind of a value pick. Uh, and in general, just when I talk about currency and buying currency in general, uh, one of the things that I think is a value pick is anytime you can find a nice note that's a nice, clean uh, AU, extra fine AU note, you know, it'll look new, but it'll have some folds in it. So a note like this, for example, you know, has some, you know, that's this is a fold right here. And this is how you look at currency, by the way. When you hold it at different angles, what you're looking for is, is a disturbance in the force, right? So you want to see if you can see any paper that's moved. The other thing that you're always looking for with paper money is pinholes. You always want to look and see if there's any, when you hold it up to the light, if there's any holes you know, or light that's coming right through. Because if you have a piece of paper with a hole in it, right, you'll be able to see, oh, okay, this is a terrible example. But I'm not gonna put a pin through this, so we'll, we'll do that. Uh, we'll just go ahead and tell you again, uh, look for pinholes. That's always a thing. So notes like these, uh, your $100 bills, this one, they came from tw the 12 different districts. Um, from Capital City, and the, you have the Cleveland and the Minneapolis here. Both these notes, uh, neither are uncirculated, both are slightly circulated notes. Little tweak in the corner here on the Minneapolis. But these are notes that have really low mintages. So the Cleveland, they only made 276,000. And you'll see these trading. Here's some folds up here going horizontally. Uh, you'll see them trading two to three hundred dollar range on eBay. And if you kind of pick your poison, you can find a nice looking note. This would probably technically grade extra fine because it does have, it has these folds that run kind of the whole way along the note. Uh, although it looks like an unk note for someone who's a novice, it's got a little spot on the back on this one. Uh, looks kind of thick, might come off, might not. In this Minneapolis note, they only made a, 144,000 of these. And notes that are kind of comparable on, uh, on eBay were selling for that 250 to 300 to you know maybe three and a quarter range at the most. Um, now most of these notes are raw and not graded, so it's kind of hard to understand really what the value would be on these notes if they all got graded, you know, because they've only graded, for example, this Minneapolis note. Um, uh, PMG's only graded about 228 notes, and less than 50 of them are in uncirculated condition. So uh, I consider them to be a value just because. They have low mintages, they're affordable, uh, how much paper money really survived. And really to get into any area that's going to be worth more over time, you kind of have to find the area that you feel is under collected. That's always a key. It needs two things to be value pick. It has to be under collected and it has to have uh, potential demand. Now the trick in all these things is of course what that potential demand is. You know, there's always the joke that, you know, I've been waiting for the V-Nickel series to, you know, up and come, but it hasn't come up yet. You know, that, that kind of thing. You know, that's an up and coming series for the last 40 years. 
So anyway, this is an area that I would tell you that you may want to consider looking into. And it's not too expensive relative to a lot of the other things that are out there. And uh, it's pretty easy to get decent examples online and uh, not feel like you got that much downside. By the way, you know, if you buy a $100 bill on eBay for $200 or $300, you always got a hundred dollar rebate, right? So that's that's a good thing. Most of the ten and twenty dollar bills have really high mintages, you know, a million to two million notes, and so those aren't necessarily kind of a value pick, but they're inexpensive if you want to try to collect all of them. And what's really cool is I saw recently a uh, Cleveland Star note that sold a hundred dollar bill, no, was it fifty? One of them that uh, you know it sold for less than three hundred dollars and kind of a nice circulated grade. But uh, there's only 12,000 made, and that, that's really scarce. That's a, you're getting on really scarce stuff. You know, considering people spend that much on a GSA, um, you know, this is all relative. I consider them to be a value pick. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.